What's up, guys? Welcome back. Good morning, good afternoon, good night, whenever you're watching this. Today we're listening to Giles Corey, self-titled, based on the sheer amount of people that wanted me to listen to this last video. So I was like, I'm going to speed it up for y'all. Let's get this shit out right now. Let's listen to this right now. I've actually been getting recommendations for this since my death consciousness video. So um, I know that you know the guy who made this dan barrett is one half of have a nice life so if i'm expecting anything from this album maybe some dark themes uh maybe things that might make me sad things that might make me question my existence uh i'm not too sure what genre this is or anything like that um i'm not too sure why it's called giles Corey because i don't know i don't, I don't know who the fuck that is hopefully we find out but yeah uh, let's hop right in. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, feel free to leave a like and possibly subscribe if you if you want, if you feel so generous, if you feel so generous. But yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. Let's hop into the album, give our thoughts, our analyses, right? Because that's a word. Track number one is The Haunting Presence. Oh, the lyrics are like a picture book. Okay. Some some keys, some old keys. Oh. Okay. It's like loud, but it isn't. Mad as fuck at that piano. All right, I'm really curious as to who Giles Corey is. I'm looking this up. I'm looking this up. The name Giles Corey has always sounded familiar. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, yeah. Okay. He has a very careless attitude towards life as a whole. He doesn't and and towards death. He doesn't really care about where the fuck he goes. Uh 
not only does he not really care about dying, he also truly does not believe that there's anything post. That's a crazy one. Very disheveled. His mind is decaying. He sounds like he's going insane, as we can clearly hear. Uh, very scary. It's just, it's just honestly horrifying. It's just honestly like, you know, I think death consciousness was pretty sad at points, but this right now, as I can already see, is probably going to be a, a lot darker record maybe doesn't have that much regard for humanity as well it seems like they're all gonna suffer a similar fate so i mean we're not starting off the happiest let's keep going track number two is blackest bile <laughs> I'm already liking this already, actually, I can tell you that. After that first song, I, I thought every song was going to be off-putting. I don't know. I, I, I think I got the wrong impression right there. I love that probably more than I should have. Black Smoke kind of infects him early on. He kind of lets it in. And, um, you know, he, he's it's it's toxic for him, but it's also toxic for the people around him. That's why he's like, oh, I know it's been hard on you. He's been hard on them. So he talks about himself as the detriment in, in the other people's lives. So that's why he thinks he's born to be alone because it's just within him. You know, he can't really escape that what has already kind of became him so um that's it's so fucked up but that guitar man was like just the most emotional part about it i think the whole thing i don't want to call the guitar upbeat but it was definitely like melancholic it definitely wasn't as dark as those lyrics number three is grave filled with books <laughs>
trash, bro. That shit was trash. That shit was trash. Okay. I kind of, I don't know. I'm supposed to be like writing down when I think about the album on the page. I can't even. The fucking, the shit just overtook me. Deep guitar in that one. Talking about being buried by books in a way. I like what he said about his spine being broken by the book. Not, not a happy, not a happy one. That was, that was nice though. That was nice. Uh, track number four is Empty Churches. Appearing on radio frequencies were first noticed in Scandinavia by the military in the 30s and were put down at the time to secret Nazi transmitters. But the voices spoke in unknown and mixed tongues, and after the war, no records of secret Nazi transmissions ever came to light. Studied the strange transmissions, male and female voices speaking in polyglot mode and lyrical tones, but it was not until 1959 that a Russian-born Swedish citizen, radio and TV producer, and filmmaker, Friedrich Jörgensen, noticed intrusions on tape and commenced his own systematic study, addressing him by name. I'm so dialed. of his thoughts and actions, and claiming to be the voices of deceased friends and acquaintances. The news spread rapidly, and soon experimenters and scientists all over the world were attempting to duplicate Jorgensen's work. They soon found out that they were indeed confronted with so voices of unknown origin. Listening to this, what? I would never do this, but I'm gonna find out some context. I'm gonna find out some context right now. Are, are those recordings supposed to be ghosts? Because he mentions an unknown entity. Maybe this is a haunted, haunted album. Because the guy mentions in the end there, I tried to warn you that there was something after death, but you wouldn't, and then it cuts out. So I don't know if you know these ghosts talking are trying to prove that there is something after after death or something, or maybe they're disproving what is after death. That's why. The churches are empty. No one's going there anymore because the ghosts that were on the tape proved them wrong. So, maybe, I don't know. I think that track is very sinister. But I love the instrumentation behind it. I feel like it just gave it such a crazy atmosphere. Track number five is I'm Going to Do It. I feel like it's gonna build up to something huge, I don't know. Okay. Don't. Some focal samples here, I don't know what they are. drums.
I mean, brutal, just straight to the point. He's, he's going to do it. You, know, you are everyone that you hate. Maybe you're just, that's just another way of saying you, you are a product of your environment. And this person happens to fucking hate their environment. So it's who they are and it's ruining their life. So I don't know if he's talking to him in a, in a third person sense. I don't really know what he's, what he's doing there, but God, let's, let's keep going. Track number six is Spectro Bride. <laughs> progression of that song the most out of any song that has been on, on here so far he says lord i'm on fire which i thought in the beginning he may have died and went to hell but it's just the life that he's living is just a life of suffering that he's gonna die but there's clearly someone in his life that he cares about so to that person he's like oh I'm, i'll be your spectral bride spectral being ghost so he, he's gonna be with that person he's, he's gonna be married to that person locked to them but he's just going to be dead. Structure wise, that song maybe was the best one. I love that trumpet there. Love that trumpet. Track number seven is No One Is Ever Going To Want Me. Morrissey.
down. God damn. more about death right there kind of in a crucifixion jesus christ kind of sense talking about a birth in reverse so maybe he's maybe mentioning this new world that he's going to because a birth is the start of something a start of the beginning but he is technically dying in real life but he's being birthed into somewhere else so maybe he does think that he's going somewhere else when he dies but he doesn't want to because he wants to feel like how he feels when he's asleep you know it's just black it's just nothing there's nothing happening so maybe maybe that's his goal. We'll we'll see if he succeeds in that goal. I don't I don't see myself going back to that one, but I'd like the end of it. I like the little one two fuck you. I thought that was funny. Track number eight is Sleeping Heart. <laughs> his own death um i think maybe he's asking someone how can i feel I... like i'm dealing with what seems like a never-ending stream of emails really probably has helped me be way more uh, he wants to be buried by the school where he worked at i don't think that should happen i think that would kind of skeeve the kids out so maybe maybe not do that so i think all he just wants to be is cared about to be honest so uh unfortunately we'll see if that happens on this last track here uh the lyrics aren't on youtube i tried finding it i apologize but I got them on my phone, and maybe I'll put them on the screen if I'm if I'm generous enough. Track number nine is "Buried Above Ground."
wrap everything up here talking more about about the devil in the beginning the devil was mentioned on here a few times but specifically a lot on that one the devil is all around him the negativity of him is very very apparent in his life being trapped in a child sense you know like a child being trapped in a well and he compares it in a real life sense like a man who is trapped in a prison he can't get out and his prison seems to be life but he's not really being buried above ground it just feels like he is sort of trapped in this life i, th I think that that's what the giles cory comparison could be because Ka giles cory uh from what i've read was the guy from the salem witch trials who got accused of witchcraft or some shit and they crushed rocks on him because he wouldn't confess something stones were mentioned a few times on this so maybe he just feels like the suffocations and the pressures of life are just really getting him down i would say up there with the darkest album i've ever listened to i mean like darkest not saddest but darkest i, I think i would i think i would call it that i love the way that ended too with the mostly instrumental i think it gave me a lot of time to reflect on the album you know it wasn't really abrupt it kind of gave me time to sit i would have to say that tracks two three and six are my favorite the ones that I honestly think have replay value for me personally, for me, for me. Uh, but the other ones I thought were still great. I thought every song played or played its role in this. I, I thought track one was the most horrifying, which is funny because I thought that that's what the whole album was going to be built upon. But I mean, yeah, this is just crazy. Uh, someone needs to check on him. Someone needs to check on him. I, I mean, I think he's still alive. This was this and this was years ago. So maybe he's doing better now. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and yeah i will catch you guys later if you guys want me to do, to do more things related to uh, have a nice life let me know let your guy know or any artist in general if you guys if you guys want to group up together in the comments to get me to do a video immediately i mean you, you, we, we can do this more often since y'all want to test me but uh yeah uh, thank you guys for watching uh if you're new feel free to like and subscribe and i will catch you later